Hey guys, <laughs> mixed media girl here. Um, so we are trying out the new day and time. Uh, so a few things. One, uh, we're going to try this out for a few weeks and kind of see how it works out. If people seem to like this time, if not, we will be switching it back to Monday at eight. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Definitely let me know. Um, I mean, anyone can take a survey, but the guys that are actually here, which is you guys are the ones that are important. So Hey, flow painting. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you guys prefer because, yeah. All right, and so today I'm going to, sh we're going to be doing something a little, little different. Full disclosure, I'm out of town. So, hey, Annabelle. Um, I have limited space <laughs> and limited materials, uh, but we're going to be playing around, whoops, can't even put that in the camera, <laughs> with the uh, Arteza. Um, real brush pens. So uh, these are kind of like watercolor markers. They're really cool. I'm going to show you a couple things that I've been playing around with today. You know what? I'm just going to move this tripod thing. I have a little tabletop tripod, so I fully expect to knock it over during the course of tonight. So I did this cool tree one I really liked. Um, this owl one that I I put up yeah, I'm kind of loving how these are working out. This one I'm not done with, um, but it's a coffee cup <laughs> with coffee in it. Kind of intended to be a bit more abstract, but I have to work on the shading and whatnot on the cup itself. But anyway, so there's a few examples um, of the uses of these markers. So let's play around with them a little bit. And I get this darn tripod back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think they're they're a lot of fun. Um, and I have these. This pack came in forty eight different colors. Uh, so I kind of thought we would basically sort of do a sunset. So I've got all my colors lined up here. And let's see. Let's. I'm going to start with some yellow and in the middle, and I'm going to kind of do this like a mirror image, like as if it was on a lake. At least that's my idea. Hey, Catherine. Um, so I'm kind of just going to go a bit sloppy. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to do something. Nate, you just reminded me. So last week on the live video, um, we did a giveaway for anyone that uh, donated via Super Chat or PayPal um, to get the black and pink resin painting unfortunately i don't have it with me to show y'all but uh hopefully you remember it so i didn't announce the winner yet so yes you reminded me because da, 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 the winner is nate look at me trying to get all fancy <laughs> so nate i will get that shipped out to you in a week or so i know right ah so I took everybody from the Super Chat and the PayPal, and there you go. So congrats, Nate. I'm glad you reminded me. I even made this whole fancy paper and everything. <laughs> okay, good. Let's carry on. So for those who just tuned in, we are trying out these fun Arteza Real Brush Pens, um, which are kind of like watercolor. Oh my gosh, I'll just show you guys again one more time. <laughs> They're kind of like watercolor markers. So I've been playing around. I did a few different ones today. So here we go. The owl. I love the flipping owl. I love him. Look how cute he is. He's so stern. Okay. And then this is a coffee cup. All right. It's the last time I'm going to show those. So if anyone tunes in after this point, they're going to have to watch it on the replay. <laughs> yeah, I put the owl up on Instagram. Okay. Good. So. Um, we're basically, the idea is we're going to kind of do a sunset here and kind of like a mirror image like it's on a lake. So there's some yellow and that's a lighter yellow. I want to show you guys real quick kind of how these can kind of blend together. Um, they actually blend really well by themselves. And then there are also blending um, 
actually like blending pens, which are basically kind of just like water pens. Unfortunately, I did not think to get some of those when I ordered these markers. So I really regret that, but I'm going to make it work anyways, because that's how I roll. Don't let nothing stop you. Now, I haven't done like a whole picture with these markers, like a whole page. Um, so this will be interesting. All right, this one's like a really light pink, almost like a skin color, but I'm gonna get in there with a little bit of that. Just a little to kind of blend into the next color. I am going to be applying water, so guys, this will look like a hot mess at first, but you'll get a little idea of how they kind of blend together. Like hopefully you guys can kind of see that, how they blend together. I don't know. I think these markers are kind of the coolest thing since sliced bread, personally. But I have a little, um, yeah, they are great. I, I've had, I, I've had a little fun trying them out. You don't have to add water, but you totally can. Um, like, let's go ahead while we're at it, and we'll just add some water. Now, the only brush for some reason that I brought was this one. <laughs> so, um, I've been kind of actually using my fingers to blend. Uh-oh, gray. Okay. So, just so you can kind of see... When you add water, it does give the watercolor effect. You do not have to add water. But when you do, it does that cool blending. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. You guys are so funny. <laughs> All right, on to the next color. This one's for Tina. It's kind of a hot pink. So we're going to put that one next. And for anyone who kind of just, yeah, tuned in, I am traveling again. So I'm just using this, like, tabletop tripod. So I fully expect to knock it over at some point <laughs> during this demonstration. Because it's hard to even fit my whole paper in there. All right. Hey, Mary. Okay, good. So now we're going to go on to an orange. An audio version of my book read by me. Ooh, I'm down. I will add that to the list. I have, uh, you guys, I haven't really told you, but I do have another book coming out in the next few months. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely consider an audio version. <laughs> okay. I'm totally waiting until I knock this thing over. Uh, yep. And this is watercolor paper, by the way, guys. Hey, Tammy. I'm glad you could make it. Um, well, I have one book that's published already, which is just about building up a YouTube channel. Um, I can honestly, it's on uh, Amazon. <laughs> Nate, you should come on. Not right now, because I'm out of town, and so that would be pointless, but soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm writing another book about acrylic pouring specifically. I have been using a lot of warm colors recently. I'm going to guess it's because it is fall. That's just my guess. <laughs> 50 Shades of Mixed Media Girl. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, that will be the title of the audio version. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hi from Utah. A burgundy flower. This is supposed to be a sunset. There's not supposed to be flowers in there. So guys, for anyone who kind of tuned in, I'm doing the uh, like kind of like a mirror image sunset. So I will be doing the bottom a little differently than the top. Like the top will go this direction and the bottom will go this direction. <laughs> okay. Hi from India. All right, and this one is a dark red, like maroon, burgundy kind of gorgeous. Oh, hey, Trace of Color. Glad you could tune in. Yep, 
yeah, I love this color too. So once again, I haven't used these markers before on such a large scale. So I'm hoping that this is will be a magical just add water and it turns into, you know, something amazing. That's the thought process anyways. <laughs> Well, you know, in LA, it's still 70 degrees. All right, so we're going to just add water. Um, I'm gonna kinda go, I'm gonna start with the top half. And this is so not how you do it. Yeah, you should wet a paper towel and put it over. But I don't have any paper towels, so we're gonna wing it here. Yeah, normally you would like put water on a brush and do this. But this is uh, mixed media girl style. All right, desperately trying not to knock the camera over. Oh, geez, there it goes. Okay, now if you put too much water, like I did right there, you can just soak up a little, and that can give it a little cloudy feel. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> Finger painting, yeah. Finger water painting, okay. So, I didn't really hit the yellow. So I'm gonna hit the yellow down here with just a little bit. So far, so good, yeah. I've got some happy little clowns made with paper towel and water. Well, not even paper towel, it's Kleenex. But, you know, do what you gotta do. Oh, this little devil. Okay. A foot of snow. Goodness. We only have a hand here. Just kidding. Meh, meh, meh. Oh my god, that was so a dad joke. <laughs> Alright. Okay, where is my dad speaking of? Okay, now we'll do the bottom here. <laughs> I know, right? So once again, guys, this is not per any instructions of how to use these markers. Is that a mini keyboard in the background? Up here, like at the top, that's a lamp. <laughs> yep, that's a lamp. Oh, okay. I'm going to try to hold this while I do this part so you guys can see. Finger painting for adults, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a lamp. All right. There we go. So... We basically more or less have our background. Now, what are we going to do with this background is the question. Uh, but first, it needs to dry. So that was kind of cool. Kind of testing out doing the whole page. It's a giraffe. Um, yeah. So we're going to let this. This is a watercolor paper. Yeah. So I'm going to peel this off, put it aside, and let it dry. It'll be dry shortly. Uh, so for anyone who's familiar with watercolor, you can't really just go right on to the next thing when the paper's still wet or it'll just bleed into there. So that goes aside to dry. All right, I totally forgot on the bottom. I said I was going to go this direction. So I'm going to do that now <laughs> while it's wet. I forget how much I love watercolor until I start playing with it again. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Dad. Okay. We've got one pink finger. <laughs> All right. So I think now what we'll do, um, we are, Beth, we're playing with some Arteza Real Brush Pens. That's what we're doing tonight, which are kind of like watercolor markers. They're pretty fun. 
And I'm out of town, so I have limited supplies, so I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, so I think on this one, we will draw, let's draw a cute little owl. This is going to be more of a cartoony owl than the other one. Okay, give him some little <laughs> Batman ears. He needs a little branch to sit on. Can't just be floating in the air. Okay, let's see. Let's give him some eyes. Little beak. This is just a little fat, <laughs> fat owl. Um, Carrie, I don't know. I have not researched like any of the toxicity of them. I would probably not advise it. So this is by no means even remotely close to a real owl in case anyone was wondering. This is just a cute little cartoon owl. So for any owl drawing police. <laughs> and they will come. Trust me, they will come. All right. What color should our owl be? I like to do purple. Let's do purple. <laughs> it looks so real. <laughs> yeah. Brown. Ah, brown's boring. I totally ask, and then I'm like, no. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Linen glasses. Hmm. I don't know. Purple and burgundy. Okay. So let's start. Ooh, that's a bright color. He can be a few different colors. Don't worry, we're still going to add feet too. Oh, I should have given him a little more. Hey, Catherine. Yeah, okay. He's just going to be multicolored, you know. That was definitely a lot more pink than purple. <laughs> All right, this is going to be in a period of intense concentration, so if I miss any questions or comments, forgive me. Tina? Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're all over it. I don't know why I even doubt you. All right. Yeah, this is a pretty purple. So he will be kind of multicolored, but I think this will be his primary color. Or her. I don't know. Could be a girl. Can you erase the pencil mar marks once the watercolor dries? Absolutely. Um, I do not find it hard to get detail. In fact, uh, if you look at my Instagram, you'll see a picture of a dog. The most recent dog portrait that I did. I actually primarily did it with these markers. So it wasn't hard to get detail. And um, yeah, I think I asked, I answered that one. <laughs> or did I get distracted? Um, so flow painting, yes, you can erase the pencil marks once the watercolor dries. And Judy, absolutely. I will add that to my list. Okay. So this one's a bit of a lighter purple. And we're going to use this for some of the wings here so that they stand out a bit and we'll add some like these are going to be kind of feathers don't worry remember this is the hot mess stage and as we get going here it'll be less of a hot mess Um, you don't have to draw with pencil and then go over. You totally can. I like to because I feel like it just is a little easier, I guess. But you definitely don't have to. All right. 
<laughs> All right. Hey, Alicia. So, guys, I'm going to show you here. If you look, we'll, we'll go ahead and blend these while they're wet. So you can see how cool these things are. <laughs> yeah, I think if, because you can't erase the marker, but you can erase the pencil. You know, so if you at least do your kind of general outlines in the pencil before you do markers, then it's a lot better, especially for kids, you know. Yeah, I have that same problem, especially when I'm doing like Mother's Day cards or something. I always have them do it in, um, let me move this a little better. I always have them do it in, in pencil first and then go over it with marker. So, all right. Let's see, what other colors do we want to get in here? We're going to give him... Mother trucker. Nobody saw that. <laughs> All right. We're going to give him some little islands. We'll leave this part white. Oh, I didn't get any burgundy in there. Let's get some burgundy. That will look pretty. That's not burgundy. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry. That was one. Wait, that was supposed to be. Why did that look brown? It just looks brown in comparison. Nope. That's that's brown. It lies. <laughs> um, my family is all artistic. I think. Let's see, this one says autumn red. That also looks brown. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm the only one that does it like as a profession though. The others have done it at various points as a hobby. So. with a little more pink. I sell my paintings. I also make money from YouTube ad revenue. So that's a few different ways. Um, a lot of ways. If you're interested in making uh, money from art, you can definitely check out my other channel, which is The Business of Art, is what it's called. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add some water to this and just kind of blend some of this together a bit more. And yes, I very much appreciate everyone that does super chat. That definitely helps me pay the rent. <laughs> Anyone who can't, I always understand. Not a big issue. Okay. Don't worry, by the end, this thing will be super adorable. I have utter faith. Aw, thanks, Dad. I lucked out with the best dad in the world. Um, Cherry Maple, check out my other channel. If you Google it, it's called, or YouTube, on YouTube, it's called The Business of Art. And that channel goes all over different ways to make money from art. So check that out, because there's a lot of ways in life. And definitely more coming out even on that channel. Lots of stuff. I've got the next few videos prepared already. So, it's good stuffs.
All right. I wanted to leave this area a bit lighter, but I'm gonna blend it together. And then we'll get to work a bit on the wings and the feet and the nose. And guys, I definitely have an open door policy. So if anyone has any questions, um, go ahead and, you know, message me on Facebook or Instagram or uh, email me. I will say, though, I really appreciate it when you do your homework and don't ask silly questions that have been answered a million times. <laughs> That's all I'll say on that. Cute. All right, his head is a bit dark comparatively. So let's add some darkness over here. Okay. Put a little down here. There we go. <laughs> it's a little better. All right. For his nose, we are going to do a bright orange. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We're getting there. Don't worry. Right now, he looks like a, a children of the corn or something. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gray screen. Oh, there we go. I totally forgot to turn on the Wi-Fi, so... If anything messes up, it's either YouTube or Verizon. One or the other. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do his beak. Thank you, Laura. Okay, so guys, I need a general consensus for everyone that's here. What do you think of this time for lives versus the regular time? All right, for his feet, we're gonna keep it real simple. Boom. <laughs> He's got little feet. Uh, my Instagram is at Mix Media Girl. <laughs> it's not midnight. <laughs> All right. So generally speaking, seems like this time is better. I will still try to throw it. There you go. Yeah, that Tina's got it. I will still try to throw in, I think, a another one on the weekends. Um for anyone that can't catch this time. Yeah, we'll keep the feet simple. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the pupils, and we'll bring him to life. So as soon as I find my black, there we go. A little wash of dark blue and add starlight. Wait, Nate, I missed it. What was the question? Intense concentration. So we leave a little, little white there for a little light reflection. And with these, um, 
owls too. You can have the pupils in a different area, like farther down or up or whatever, and that can give directionality, if that's a word, or if I just made it up, not totally sure. So, like if you have two owls and you want them to be looking at each other or something. This is a, a paint night class that I teach on doing an owl like this. Ah, look how cute he is. Look how cute. Have we named him? His name's Fred. <laughs> there we go. See, he comes in life. Adorbs. All right. I'm going to go above so we can see him a little better. There he is. So cute. His name is Fred. Is that what we named him? <laughs> Yeah, I love him too. All right, so we just gotta do the branch. Um, I think I'm going to do the branch later because it's honestly really hard to do around this um, silly tripod thing. But let's go back to our sunset. which looks actually quite killer, even just as is. We're going to um, go ahead and add um, some trees. Tammy Sue Davis. I have not used Tombow brush pens. So how do you flatten the paper? Well, you can just either put it in a frame. Usually that's what, I mean, these are gonna have to be framed um, so then you, you don't really have to worry about it. Or uh, you could just, you know, put it in a book for a minute. That works too. By minute, I don't actually mean minute, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. So, oh my geez. I think, I, you know what, I'm just going to do some trees in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Maybe you can iron it. I have never tried that. But apparently that's a possibility. So, so that we don't have to worry about being here all night. Let's just do some here. Okay. Now normally I do this with a paintbrush. So, this is a this is a first. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> of course, I watch Bob Ross all the time. So this is definitely Bob Ross themed. <laughs> We're adding some happy little trees here. Oh my gosh, you guys. At some point, I have to show you this plate that I did. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'll put the link for these pens down in the description too, but these are great. Hey, El Spicy. Um, crap, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I did a this plate at Color Me Mine. Actually, I think I put a picture of it on my Instagram. I thought it came out really cool though. All right, well this is coming out okay so far. I have not destroyed the picture. So I'm kind of just doing little, I guess this is pointillism kind of similar. Not quite, but you know what I mean. Best I could do with a marker. Um, You know, I've had these markers for quite a while. I just, I'm not entirely a marker person generally and like I said kind of I forget how much I love watercolor until I start playing with them again and then I'll go through like a little watercolor phase <laughs> um but yeah no these are pretty good I have some other videos on uh doing our uh, acrylic pours with the their acrylic paint um that are pretty good as well they definitely react very interestingly. I'm gonna add just a few more trees over here, I think, so it's a little more centered. 
<laughs> yeah, Christmas is coming up, guys. You know what I can do, actually, too? I'll contact the company, and I can see if I can maybe get you guys a discount code. No promises, <laughs> but hey, it doesn't hurt to ask. I have, it, it is very nice. <laughs> and you know what? You guys could too, if you wanted to. All right, so here's what we're going to do here. We're going to just, this is going to be theoretically really cool. Let's see if this works as planned. All right. Now this is the black. It's called Noir. Um, and it definitely is like a blue base. So just so you guys know. Uh, so if you do water it down quite a bit, it turns blue. Uh, but we're going to kind of bleed this down a bit. We're going to bleed it down a little more. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I hope you're having fun, too. I just, I love different paints so much. It's like magic, the way they react. You know what I mean? Oh, Mary, that's so awesome. Send it to me, please. You can add me to your newsletter list if I'm not already on there. I don't know. I get so fascinated by these. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to do like an overall look. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think I need to add a few more trees to the left. <laughs> um, but there you go. Let's zoom in on the trees. Pretty cool, huh? Right? With some markers. Yeah, I need to add some more trees. It's a little hard to see through this darn thing, but that right there is just awesome. So, um, Stone Coat Countertops is not live right now. They did just post another video, but they're not live right now. They do lives on Tuesdays, not on Wednesdays. So, definitely not competing. All right, guys. So there you go. There is um, a few different techniques, kind of, you can see with these markers, and you can see you really don't need a lot. You know what I mean? You don't need any to special tools, as long as you have hands <laughs> and water. You don't even need that. You could just use the markers. Um, you can create some awesome stuff. I'll show you guys again real quick the pictures I did today. Um, Tammy, yeah. My lives currently are uh, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern. And so I got my coffee cup. I think this is pretty cool, right, guys? I have to decide what direction it should go. Oh, it's upside down. My owl. So this one I didn't use, like, any water on, basically. Actually, yeah, I don't think I used any water on it. Just the markers. Um, and look at the branch. So look at how they blended together without any water. Like, I thought that was so cool. Um, and then this tree, which I definitely used water on to get that effect. And then I took some of it away just like you can do with watercolor. Yeah. So anyways, I know, right? Coffee holic here. <laughs> I love the blue tree too. So there you guys go. Um, yeah, I definitely say get the markers and have fun with them. Let me put this down. And then, oh yeah, my cute, cute little owl. <laughs> He's so cute, adorable. 
So yeah, I'll do the um, I'll do the branch a little later on this little guy, and I'll post it on on Fred. Yes, on Fred, and then I'll post it on Instagram. Um, I don't have an affiliate link for Arteza, um, but I can probably I can probably find one for you. I can ask them. Um, my the business channel is. The business of art. Let me go ahead and grab it for you guys real quick. So you have it. One second. All right, there you go. Okay, so yeah, check that out. Um, definitely if you're interested in starting a business from your art, I go over everything from YouTube to Facebook to social media to hosting your own art shows to you name it, pretty much. Um, so Nate, congrats again. I'll get that painting mailed out to you in a week or so. I'll let you know. And everyone else, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't already. And otherwise, we will see y'all next time.